What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. I almost said something else. I always do that. I don't know why. Anywho, in our last episode, we found out about uh, Zinnia, and uh, we went to the Moss Deep City uh, Space Center. What else? Ah, we need to go to Meteorite Falls, so yeah. About that. We have to go to Meteorite Falls. And it's mainly because we need to pick up a very, very pure, what was it called, uh, a, a, meteor, a very pure meteorite. Because there is a plan of warping a an, an incoming comet or meteorite coming our way and all that stuff. I'm trying to warp it somewhere else. Now, let's see. We're going to be flying over here, and I think we went, we went a little too far. Let's see. Right here? Somewhere. You know what, let's go ahead and park the car right here at Route 114. And, well, let us see what we can actually find now. Okay, so, Route 114. This is the place where you're going to be able to find some trainers and all that crud. Now, I did switch out a few Pokemon from my team. All because, well, yes, we're going to be going up against, uh, well, not, we're, we're going to be going up the waterfall and all that crud and you know if the, we have to use the po the Pokemon that could uh, push stones and all that stuff well we got them all right here and I don't know why I did that holy crud yeah I'm not focused right now guys anywho let's see in the world of uh, Pokemon right now the world news in the world of everything I'm gonna park my car right here uh, yeah like I said in the last episode yeah I was planning on taking a small break capture and level up these Pokemon and all that stuff, but I believe, like, I, I can say it all I want, but, like, you know, I don't really have the time like I used to, to actually get all these Pokemon and all that crud, uh, especially when I'm, you know, I'm playing Pokemon Omega Ruby on the background and all that. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna complete the game, and then once we're done with Pokemon Y as well, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a special of like, hey, look, look, I finished the Pokedex in both series, because if it, like I'm pretty sure many of you guys are the same way. Uh, w when Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby came out, including X and Y, I believe, <laughs> like, you can't deny this, but we were all very specific on how we captured Pokemon, put them in the in the storage room and all that stuff try to catalog him and all that stuff too since you know in this game it gave us the opportunity to uh what was it called to level up our pokemon so easily so i almost want to i i that's kind of what i want to do but the thing is i don't have a lot of time to yeah like i don't have a lot of time to to do all that stuff including going into secret bases different secret bases with different pokemon and all that stuff so we're just gonna complete the game, and then at a later date, we're gonna at a later date we're gonna be finding something. Now, here is something that you can find here in this cave. It is so freaking awesome. Lexi, where are you, you little punk? Hold on, hold on. It's right here. You hear that sound, guys? That is the sound of a very rare dragon type Pokemon, as you guys can see. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna watch this. So, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Dino. Dino, or Dino, or I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But yes, this is the very rare, very... I don't know, I, I wouldn't say mythical or anything like that, but this Pokemon is one of the rarest Dragon-type Pokemon in the Nova region. If you guys remember, if you guys are old enough fans to remember this, back when I played Pokemon Alpha Sapphire in Japanese, I had a special egg and all that crud, and... It was supposed to be a Dino, and yeah, that didn't really work out well because, of course, you know, later on I stopped the game and whatever. So, right here, I'm gonna capture him because I can. Now, Dino is one of the is one of these Pokemon right here that levels up and and well, doesn't level up, but its final evolution is it is at an absurd level. And oh, okay, so that right there needs to change. So we're gonna have to capture this Pokemon right here. So come on. You want to be with us, you Brontosaurus Rex looking mother lover. And no, this Pokemon doesn't want to be with us. And here comes a slam attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do this. Come on. Do it. Just do it. Come on. 
How are you not... Okay. So, no... Oh, wow. No joke, guys. In, uh... I was playing Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, what was it? Uh, let's see. I was playing Pokemon Omega Ruby last night. And... The Dieno that I found wasn't at this level. So this is a pretty rare one, I guess. And this guy's not gonna... Oh, my God. Okay. Alrighty. It's powering up, and uh, that can't be good at all. I can't throw Master Ball. Now, <laughs> let's see. Uh, what Pokemon... Oh, you know what? Lanoon can actually work. Okay. Lanoon, this is your chance. This is your opportunity to make us look good. Help me. And here comes a slam attack. And yes, Lanoon has uh, avoided that. So let's go with a simple cut attack right here. And how are you? Oh, my God. Yeah, this Pokemon is uh, super powerful right now. And I don't want... Okay, come on. Let's go. Cut attack. And are you kidding me? Okay. So now you know, guys. You can actually capture the Lanoon there. And Tommy JDF grows level 70. Wow. What an accomplishment! Great! Fantastic! Thanks a lot, Lanoon. When I needed you, you screw it up. Anywho, let's, uh, let's go right here. And we have to find a meteorite around here somewhere. I think I've already battled everybody here. Ooh! Let's see. I'm always going to be interested- oh, no, no, no. I'm always going to be interested in what Pokémon pops up, and... It looks like, to me, this Pokémon is just, like, nowhere to be found. Ah, okay. Where are you? Oh, there you are. And that right there is wow, okay. Like I said, I'll be I'll be capturing all these Pokemon later on. I'm just be spending my time just, you know, capturing everything because I can and all that. Uh something too that I love to do. Oh my god, it was a Dino! Jesus. Something that I like to do. And it kind of bothered me in this game here was that, you know, a lot of... You would be able to find a lot of Pokemon here. Like... Patrat. Uh, or the evolved forms of Patrat. Or... Who else? You got Raticades. You got Feroes and all that stuff. You know, like, um, th this is just an example. But you would find evolutionary Pokemon like that. And you wouldn't be able to find their pre-evolution. So, for me, it was like, yeah, I kind of want to breed them. And then send the other ones away because, you know, I can... Yeah, that, 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 that's me. I'm that kind of collector. Now, I'm going to switch out my Pokemon. Let's go with Guy of the Fierce Knight. Lanoon has an item for me here. Thanks a lot. And take. Here we have a revive. And let's go. Let's see what's going on right here. And here we have Steven Stone. And he's like, Draven, we have the Meteorite Shard. And I have come to understand many things, as I suspected might happen. Allow me to introduce you. The honorable lady you see before you is a descendant of the ancient Draconids. Ah. Yes, I'm one of the Draconid people. One of these, uh, those ancient folk tasked to passing down the knowledge of Mega Evolution with great lore of the Lord Rayquaza, who was the beginning of all. Huh. Since times long ago, Hoenn has repeatedly suffered great disasters. At times, the destruction took to the form of a huge meteorite, or meteoroid, why do you call it that? Which fell upon our land from the distant space. At other times, primal versions of our own super ancient Pokemon brought us to the brink of destruction. Each time, Lord Rayquaza has saved us from the doom. The chosen lore keeper, standing before a stone and the shone with Rainbow Light offered a uh, uh, offered up a wish to the Great One, and Lord Rayquaza's body was suff uh, suffused with a brilliant light and transformed. It is trans in its transformed state, Rayquaza's power was more devastating than ever before, overcoming even the super ancient Pokemon with all their primal power. Kubos, a rainbow-colored stone, an invocation for the Lore Keeper, and Rayquaza is unlike any other ever seen. I see. It does resemble what we know of the process of Mega Evolution. Cool pose again. Yes, it does indeed. A Pokemon, a person, and a stone of power. The bonds that tie them all together. The transformation of Pokemon that occurs as a result of the phenomenon was called Mega Evolution by later peoples. 
So the mechanism for make evolution was discovered as a result of the meeting first, the first meeting between humanity and Rayquaza? Hmm. But I have one last question. That lore keeper you speak of. The lore keeper is the one who has inherited the knowledge and power to summon Lord Rayquaza when disaster imperils the, the world. The true lore keeper of the, the current generation is the one called Xenia. The disaster that now approaches our planet as it has twice before, Xenia has been trying for some time to avert it in her in her own way. To draw Lord Rayquaza to the sphere, she joined a certain organization that sought to revive the super ancient Pokemon. She taught them the secrets needed to bring back these threats and summon the great dragon itself, and now it seems that she's traveled the land, scoring the world for keystones. So it is. it was true. As I had, or as I had suspected, that woman appeared at the space center was one of the Dragonins. But I never dreamed she was involved in the attempted revival of the super ancient Pokemon. In full knowledge of the power they held, fully understanding the terrible changes they would wreck upon a world, still she helped bring the, that situation about. Did she give? Did she give a thought to many people and the Pokemon whose lives were going to be in grave uh, risk by her actions? Could she accept the inevitable sacrifice of many lives in order to protect the planet from the coming meteorite? Balance must rule this world. History is doomed to repeat itself. While our people have overcome many disasters, in the past it was always through great, great sacrifice. Yet, we have continued to struggle to preserve peace for as many years as we can. That is how we protected the world, this world upon which now we now live. People, Pokemon, and all nature, and yes, even you. I do not know exactly what you plan to do, but do you believe that uh, you are not sacrificing anything for your own protection? Xenia will follow her convictions until the very end, even knowing the sacrifices that they will require. Even if they, even if the sacrificial, sacrificial blade is leveled at her own heart. Hmm. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Is that right? I understand. Thank you for everything. What is this? This vague sense of apprehension. And my intuition has proven uh, true. I am going back to Rustboro first. I have to go uh, back to Devon. Okay, alrighty. I will see you with no cool pose. And, uh, well, we gotta talk to this lady. She's like, the silver-haired dreamboat said that he was headed back to Rustboro. Let's go ahead and finish up this episode. Going back to Rustboro because, well, we kind of has to. And, oh my god, I cannot believe I missed that. Okay. And there is a Pokemon afoot. Buckets. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. And crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. See, this is what happens when... This is what happens when you're, like, on your high sugar and stuff. Not me. I'm just a uh, little... Yeah, I'm just a little... Well, I'm quick to the trigger right here with the button and all that stuff. And there is a Clefairy afoot. Again, I'm going to capture all these Pokemon. Breed them and then make them a super team and all that crud. Anywho, uh, let's see. We go back up here. And what do we do here? And... There you are. Okay, go in here. You will find the Aerodactylite. Yes, this one will be used to make it evolve an Aerodactyl. And, uh, well, let's see. Before we do anything, let's just use an escape rope. We have an escape rope. Why not use it? Please let me have one. Crap baskets. Oh, there you are. Okay, ten of these little suckers. Okay. So, here we are. We are out. And a Rustboro we go. So let's go right ahead and use that Eon Flute. Yes, I know I could have just walked through the other like the other room to get to Rustboro, but yeah, I'm feeling a little bit lazy, guys. Let's just go and uh, let's go in there and find uh, Rustboro right here. Look at that. Easy. Rustboro. Bam. Easy. Okay. Alrighty. And away we go. Look at that. That was a cool slide right there. Anywho, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so here we are in Rustboro. We're not going to need another repel, but what we need to do now is we have to go straight into the Devon Corporation and see what uh, this hoopla is all about. Now. Oh, wow, wow. Hold on. Something's happening. What? Oh, wow, I get pushed out of the way. And ouch. Ooh, you're that fantastic trainer who helped me before. Okay, oh, are you serious? You geek. Hey, you've got to help me, please! Whoa, you're that kid trainer I met before. 
You're getting in my way again. <sighs> okay, so we have to battle him, and hopefully, you know, he's evolved his Pokemon, trained or something. Okay, so here we go, taking on another Grunt, and it looks like to me, yes, he has evolved his Pokemon. Good for him. He's one of the few Team Gala or Team uh, Aqua guys that's actually doing something. Okay, so Moonblast, let's do this. Let's destroy this guy. Let's finish him off. Yes, look at that. Okay, alrighty, say goodbye. And away we go. Alrighty, okay, so Thunderball not doing anything, getting some points, and here we have Golbat, so let's go ahead and let Thunderball do some stuff. Anything. Let's just shock the heck out of everybody right here. So here we go, Thunderball, ready to go. And Golbat, looking men menacing as always, let's go with a Discharge Attack, and there we go, look at that. Say goodbye. Okay, alrighty. And, well, look at that. Hydra has grown to level 37. And, uh, yes. Okay, so what? what's the meaning of this now? Grr, I am, I, am I destined to lose to you all the time? Yeah, kinda. And are you serious? Oh, come on. And the other guy's name is Matt, I guess. So we have to battle him. Because uh, I guess Team I guess Team Aqua won't won't stop until they're doing something. And well, would you look at this? This guy has a muck. Muck. All right, muck. Time to you well, know time to time to eat this muck right here. So let's go straight for a psychic attack. And look at this muck defeated. I still think this Pokemon looks like it's giving us the finger. And yes. Oh, yeah, it's disappointing. Very, very disappointing. And what exactly do you have to say for yourself this time? Sound the retreat! It's only good sense to save my own hide for Matt's sake. Oh, come on! And, yeah, we... Okay, I'm assuming that we're going to be fight, fighting, like, six guys. I don't know, maybe five quintuplets. I don't know, but this guy has, like, two. And we're going to be going off against a gold bat right here. So while we're doing this, kicking some butt, taking some names, let's go ahead and talk about a few things, guys. So I've been putting it in my head that the completion of this walkthrough is a big must. Now, there is one thing that they might, well, might slow it down, and that is uh, the timing of this, the clock right here of this particular game. If you guys don't know, the... The 3DS that I currently have, that I'm using for this capture card, is based off Australian times. I didn't even know that, guys. Um, now, I could just wait at specific hours to go capture specific things and all that stuff. But there are a lot of uh, time-based uh, events here in this game that, you know, kind of requires, requires you to be at that time. So... We'll talk more about it. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, thank God. Okay. Thank you. You helped me again. And as my thanks, I will give you another... Uh, well, you know what? No, no time for this. We're in big trouble. Team Aqua stole the control device for the link cable that our company has been developing. It's a special tool called a dimension, uh, dimensional shifter. The person who stole it is a huge man with bulging muscles. What shall I do? What should I do? What shall I do? They must have uh, been headed to, Mo or they must be headed for Moss Deep C City, the Space Center. Steven must have gone ahead at the Space Center, but I'm worried. Ah, okay. So that will be our next area. So, like I was saying, guys, um, there are a lot of time-based events here in this game that, you know, I don't know if I will be able to get to because Australian time is far different from, uh, from you know, the U.S. time. And where I'm currently located is Pacific time. Um, uh, I'm not willing to do any of that stuff. Like, you know, just wait at like three in the morning to go capture this Pokemon. Uh, I do have roommates and if I'm like recording, then yeah. So what I'm thinking is that I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to like upload for the legendary events. I'm probably going to upload the, the old Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough videos for the legendary Pokemon that are not a part of this story. If you guys know what I'm talking about and that's. That's just to save some time right here. Uh, other than that, guys, we're almost done. We're getting there. We're about to do it. 
And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being, being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.